with it, but only 32% are in development. Yeah. So, you know, 20% are in research, for example, and 14% yeah. haven't even start, got going. And 54% say the effort hasn't been justified. Why is that? Yeah, I think uh, getting to what is the return on investment is actually really hard. And again, I don't think this has to do with uh, does the blockchain technology work? I think it has to do with how do I take this out to a commercial application at scale? Because again, what we're really talking about is building networks. And we're talking about uh, industry participants getting together and working in a collaborative way and maybe in different ways than they've done in the past. And that's really difficult. And you know, part of what our uh, clients are telling us is that there's a trust barrier, right? There's a trust in uh, you know, the ecosystem that I'm uh, interacting with, with the other players in the market. And there's a concern around the regulatory response, particularly in the United States. So this is one of the reasons I think why people are struggling to get it out to scale. And speaking of the United States, of course, China would be one of the other big markets. That's something you also found. So she brings a good point where, like I said, there's a lot of scaling issues and this is all hypothetical future revenue. So a lot of this money that you're investing in crypto, uh, it's a lot like Amazon where its few, uh, potential is not going to really be realized in 1998. It took over a decade for it to really um, be adopted and to become what it is today. So if you are investing in crypto, I highly, highly recommend that you continue to educate yourself and understand that this is most likely going to be a very long-term investment. The get rich uh, quick bubble is gone. And um, if you do understand the technology, you understand the future use cases for crypto, it'll help you uh, with your investment and if you're unsure if you don't really understand diversification is one of your best friends and staying with the large crap uh, large cap cryptos is probably a safe bet i know a lot of people like to invest in moon coins but i only recommend investing in small crypto projects or moon coins once you really do understand and you've actually been in the space for maybe uh, a year and kind of monitored other projects and kind of seen you know the developments and shakeouts then i would recommend uh, going into smaller cap crap uh, cryptos. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.